Riding for a cause, more than 200 motorcyclists making a stop today here in Phoenix for the second annual Thunderbird Throttle. This event raising awareness and money for missing and murdered indigenous people. 12 News journalist Jade Cunningham has more on their message they hope to share here in the community. One by one, we are not invisible. Motorcycle after motorcycle. The alarming rates of our people going missing and or being murdered is very high. Hundreds of riders rode with a mission. So today's ride is really to not only celebrate the indigenous culture and the tribal communities here in Arizona, but also to build awareness and support for the issue of missing and murdered indigenous people. Their purpose to shine light on a big problem they say needs more attention. Culturally, it's a little bit of a taboo even to talk about people who have passed on, but we are in the year 2024, we do have to break some of those taboos and talk about, say their names, talk about what happened and bring justice to families. Event co-founder Shelley Denny says data over the last 40 years from the Urban Indian Health Institute shows one indigenous woman goes missing every three days in the United States. Rarely do their names make it to the federal missing persons database. I still think that there is a, a racial discrimination that's happening um, where indigenous people are not thought of as valuable as other people and therefore our cases aren't taken as seriously and the prosecution is not as harsh as it could be. Which is why they say an event like this. We are working toward building communication lines with one another. Is so important. You know, law enforcement, <clears throat> there are tribal leaders, there are city council leaders that are really starting to dialogue around what's happening in the community and how can we work toward strategies, um, best practices to start to learn more about how to change what's happening in our community. And as the crowd listened, learning from those affected. I think collectively our voice is so much stronger. They left ready to tackle the issue together. With photojournalist Lance Neff, I'm Jay Cunningham, 12 News. Such an important message, Jay, thank you. She also says that the event raised some $40,000. All of the proceeds will go to the Phoenix Indian Center, which offers resources and support for Native Americans right here in the Valley.